doesn't really matter one way or the other. It was sitting over there. That was Barry Sawchuk's reaction to having fragments of a spacecraft sitting in his workshop for months. Sawchuk says that the experience has been educational, but he's happy to put it behind him. At the end of it all, uh, it belonged to somebody. Life goes on. On the farm, ne life never stops. Two men who confirmed that they were with SpaceX arrived to take away the debris, but remained tight-lipped. We, we are with SpaceX, and um, I'm afraid we're not allowed to make any statements. Only to confess a little later that that piece of space debris is going home. We're just taking it back to... Uh, Do you want some donuts before you go? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. She's not a reporter. You can totally I'm not. I'm not a reporter. I'm an astronomer. <laughs> <laughs> Samantha Lawler, associate professor of astronomy with the U of R, says that there are real dangers to falling space junk. Literally falling in my backyard. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, and it just shows how, um, how common this is becoming, that, that um, there will be a lot more space junk falling like this. Um, it will cause damage. It will cause deaths. Um, it needs to be better regulated. Lawler says the landscape of space exploration is changing so fast that it's hard to advise people on what to do if they find junk on their property. As for Sawchuk, he wouldn't say how much he was paid for returning the space junk, but he does plan to put his money toward a rink in Ituna. Is Elon Musk welcome at your rink? Sure, anytime. <laughs> Musa Imran, Global News.